Hey, hey, what's going on guys? My name is Raul and I'm the broker owner of Ready Fund Real Estate here in Austin, Texas. In this video, I'm gonna walk you all through the process of applying for a COE. And if you already use your VA loan, I'm gonna show you guys how to make sure that your VA home loan benefits has been restored. What's important about the COE is because it gives the lender instructions on if you even qualify for the VA loan or not. And if you already have a home under the VA loan, it's gonna give the lender and say, hey, this is what's left on his entitlement. Now, this is a very important document and every lender that you speak with about the VA loan is gonna need it. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get a couple steps ahead of the game so when you do speak to a lender, we already know we're working with. All right, guys, we have jumped onto the computer, and this is the first screen you're going to see after you log into eBenefits. From here, we want to look for a certificate of eligibility. This is going to be under the Manage Benefits. After you click the certificate of eligibility, you're going to go to a screen where they're either going to say, hey, your COE is available for you to view and you can see the latest and greatest on it. And those are for the ones who use your VA loan or already started the application with the lender. And it's going to show you what are the remaining re entitlements or do you have to pay the VA funding fee? This is the information that the lender will need before they start the VA home loan process, meaning the credit and the income and all that good stuff. Now, if you are one that want to just get ahead of the game and want to see what the VA uh, already qualifies you for, do you have the entitlements before you even speak with the lender, you will click the other link to actually initiate the process. The next form you're going to see is information the VA is going to gather from you. And as you can see, this information is going to help determine a veteran's qualification for a VA guaranteed home loan. So you are basically initiating the process of the VA home loan process and getting all the information ahead of you before even speaking with the lender. So just finished up an application because I had to get the latest and greatest on my COE myself. Now with you guys who the first time that you're gonna do it, only thing they're gonna to want to know is the time that you serve and if you're already out, they want a copy of your DD-214 if you never use your VA loan. Now for you guys that has already used your VA loan, either you sold your home or you refied your home to a different type of loan, a conventional or FHA, they're going to ask for your DD-214 and along with your HUD-1 statement. You probably know this as a closing disclosure, but you get this at title when you close. All right, guys, that's the end of this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below or you can reach me directly at readyfrontrealestate.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next video.